This video uh, will show you three simple ways uh, to make a roof for the model of your house in Google SketchUp and uh, show you a couple of tools to add some details to your roof. The first thing you're going to want to do is think about the footprint of your home. Um, if you can't visualize it, uh, you can always go into Google Maps and look at the satellite view of your house to see your footprint. And uh, for this lesson, we usually use Google Maps to get a reference for your house. Anyway, so it's easy to flip between street view and satellite view. I'm just going to use a uh, generic footprint for a suburban bungalow. I'm going to start with a rectangle like that on the ground. And then maybe I'll add another rectangle off the front. And then view it from the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll move this in a little bit. And then we just use push-pull to pull it up into a house. Now I've left SketchUp's generic model there because I want to build a house that's somewhat to scale of a real house. It doesn't need to be exact measurements, but um, if you work within a close to scale, everything becomes easier when you're doing the fine tuning at the end. So. Uh, a good way to get an overhang on your house, and all houses will have this so your rain doesn't drip down your wall, is to use the offset tool. And we can go to this surface, which acts like a ceiling, and move it out, let's say, 0.5 meters. And we'll do the same here. And we've got a nice overhang to begin building our roof off of. Now the temptation is always to go in now and erase these lines, um, but as you'll see, if we erase any of these lines, it erases the edge of the wall and the wall disappears, so we can't really do that. So it's better to go in with the rectangle tool and just start at one corner of your ceiling and build tiny little walls going up. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to go around my ceiling and close this up, starting from the top corner there and moving to the bottom corner. And I'll go around all the walls. And you'll see once this is finished, it'll become a closed surface. There we go that we can build a roof off of. So, one way to make a pitched roof in Google SketchUp is to grab the pencil tool and um, find the midpoints of this edge, which is always indicated by the cyan dot. And I can click and move along the red axis until I reach, well, it's not going to be the midpoint here because I haven't closed off this angle yet on the red axis. Now this will be the midpoint of this whole line. Now what I can do is take the move tool and I'm going to move this edge vertically. So if I hold down the up arrow on my keyboard it'll move that edge only in a vertical direction and I can choose the pitch of my roof like that. So that's one simple way. Another way to make a roof is to draw a triangle first. So I'm going to click on this corner. I'm going to move to the midpoint of this edge. But I'm not going to click there. I'm just going to hover for three seconds so I can infer to that point, And then I'm going to move up. And now I know that my edge here ends at the center. And I can create that triangle. Then I can push that back. And 
push it into my other roof. Now the temptation here is always to say, oh, looks great, I'm just gonna clean it up a bit, I'm gonna go in and erase this edge to clean it up. But you'll notice when I erase this edge, it erases that whole surface because that's the closing edge for that surface. So a good habit to get into with Google SketchUp is to choose these surfaces. You can hold down shift and choose multiple. And then if I right click or control click, I can choose intersect faces. And that's going to add edges here so that these two surfaces are actually now touching. And I can go back in now with the eraser tool, get rid of that edge, and I maintain my surface here. Now, your particular roof might uh, not be parallel here with the wall. You might have an angle or a slope here. And uh, that's actually an easy thing to achieve in Google SketchUp too with the Move tool. So we've seen that you can move edges and you know that you can move surfaces, but you can also move points. So we're going to move this point where these three edges meet up. And I want to move it only in the green direction. So I'm going to hold down the left arrow on my keyboard so that it only moves in this w on this one axis. And I can push back until I find a slope that I like. And that's how you make an angle on a, the front of your roof. So this is starting to look fairly good. This is looking like a generic suburban bungalow. But I want to add some more detail to this part of the roof because the home I'm thinking of doesn't actually look like this. It's cut in like most homes. So I'm going to take this surface and I'm going to grab the offset tool and just draw our triangle slightly smaller, let's say 0.2 meters inside our original triangle. And then I'm going to come in with the pencil tool and draw vertical lines on the blue axis down from here and here. And I can come in with the eraser, get rid of these lines and this line here. And this should then be a closed surface that I can push back. Mm. It's not a closed surface. So I'm just going to go in and reinforce these edges. Okay, let's try it now. There we go. And I can infer it to the wall below. And I have that nice overhang. Now, the one other thing that um, students always want to do is they want to add uh, a chimney to their roof. And so what they'll generally do is go in with either the rectangle tool or the circle tool, draw a circle there, and then say to themselves, I'll pull it up into, <clears throat> into a chimney. Of course, uh, if you've played with SketchUp before, you know that the push-pull tool works perpendicular to the surface. So if I pull it out, it pulls out on an angle and doesn't really look like a chimney. There's an easy fix for that, though. If we grab the pencil, and if we hover for three seconds at the edge of this circle, SketchUp will tell us where the center of the circle is. And now I can click there, and in the blue direction, just draw a line up. A lot of times in SketchUp, you need to draw edges that you'll erase later just to make your job easier. So now what we're going to do is view our large tool palette so that we can grab the Follow Me tool. And the Follow Me tool will pull this surface along an edge. So we can take this surface and pull it up along this edge to get our chimney. And we'll just need to orbit underneath and pull this down. And we have what looks like a chimney. And then we can 
grab the offset tool, make it a little bit fancier. Oops. So these are a few tips to make a roof in Google SketchUp. Um, in our next video, I'm going to show you how to use the offset tool to make windows and doors, uh, an easy way to make stairs, and even how to make a doorknob. So stay tuned.